few shaves of rain we've had over the last couple of days have really seen the plants mature and come on. The problem is, solve the weeds. Just within a few weeks of planting the onions out you can see the state of the weeds and that's the general case of all over the beds. You might recall when I initially planted the brassica bed out I did leave some blank stations each side of the cauliflowers. That there was to plant in some more cauliflowers which have been sown a bit later to stagger the cropping. Those are more most ready to plant out now but the first job I'll need to do is to clear some of these weeds. Fast forward 30 minutes and we have this area clear in time to get the new Clapton cauliflowers in and here they are. Now it's difficult to believe that just a few weeks ago these Clapton were just that size. So that's uh, another two rows of cauliflower, eight in total. So this variety is called Clapton. And across the other side, not sure if you'll see it from here, that was there. I'm not sure of the variety of those, those was given me. But they're cauliflowers and uh, hopefully they'll taste just as good. You join me out on the plot on this afternoon. I'm just about to sow another couple of gutters of peas. These are Calvin Wonder. I've split them roughly in half so they get each equal amount in each tray. Usual method. Just put the compost in the troughs, throw the peas in, they've been soaked overnight, cover them up with more compost and away they go. Just to let you know, we had a, a little day out yesterday, it was Gardener's World, the preview day, and uh, while I was there I caught up with a few other YouTubers, uh, Foodie Laura was there, Nick from Nick's Allotment, uh, Sean, Sean Cameron, and also Mike Curtis. and during the day we got together and we had a little natter and uh, Basically a good time. I took a bit of video and uh, some photographs, but I don't think I'll be putting a, a full episode up. What I might do, if I get time, I'll add a few little clips and uh, video photographs on the end of this one. Anyway, get these peas done. Quite a while ago, one of my regular subscribers, Mags H, asked if I'd do a little review of the type of net I use on the allotment. Well, as usual, I completely forgot. <laughs> anyway, there's no time like the present. Starting with this cage here, you can see it's the Brassica cage. And this net, what we've got on there now, is excellent. It lets in maximum light. It's nylon with, I should say, about 5mm square holes. And uh, this was purchased from Easy Net from Keith Morgan. I'll give Keith the size of the three beds together. He uh, needed to join the two nets which he sewed and the, consequently the net now is a perfect fit obviously i'll just turn the corners fold them in and uh does a great job that's, so that's the net for the brassica cage another covering which is popular on mars developments is this net in here and this is a an insect mesh and the common trade name for this is environment it's available in various sizes and also the mesh grades. The tighter the grade, the more expensive. The objective of this is to keep out the dreaded onion fly, although unfortunately it doesn't keep out the weeds. <laughs> the third and final bit of netting that I use is more or less in reserve now. This is the uh, debris netting. It's used on construction sites around scaffolding and it's, it's mainly object is to protect stuff falling off. Although it is, has good use on the allotment, it's tough hard wearing. The only problem with this is that uh, it has little holes already built in 
where they can use a cable or zip ties to fix it to the structures on the on the building site and this there can let insects in a lot of people I know on YouTube actually sew this up those who watch the channels regular maybe remember a few years ago I know when I first used this I had to join three pieces and it was a marathon sewing session by hand and took a long while I tend not to use it now this was originally for use on the brassica cage but uh, what I did find is that over time it, it cut out a little bit of light and uh, the plants were trying to stretch up the sky which made them go a, a little bit on the leggy side so since I've used had this uh, net in here the, I've tended not to use this where it does come in useful if I put the brassicas out a little bit early and the weather turns a bit cold I can just pop this over the top still keeps the light in but it stops that bit, gives that bit of protection and stops the wind from nipping the plants I've still got four buckets of uh, first earlies to come out here and I'm going to be taking those out quite soon I'll be using a couple of the buckets for it. I've got some uh, purple sprouting broccoli and I've intent to put those in the buckets this year because they, they do hold the ground up later on in the year and the beginning of the next season so the idea behind it is if I can shovel these wherever they need to go anyway rather than boy with four potato reveals I'll just dig the four up put them all together then we'll weigh the lot then divide by four we ain't far off then are we That's the result of the first bucket and if that's anything to go by I'm reasonably happy with that. I'll do another bucket now but I just thought the other two buckets was the comparison I did with the um, fast grow fertiliser and the 6x manure so I will be weighing those two separately. That's the result of the first two buckets and uh, I think it's about the same quantity in the second one. But it won't be until I can get them into the kitchen on the scales that we'll actually know the two true weight. The scales have been zeroed with an empty basket on, so now it's time to put the potatoes in. And there they are, just about balanced on. You might be able to read that, I'm not sure. It's four pounds, ten ounces. So that's two pound five ounce from each one roughly and uh, that's quite good crop that is I think. The two remaining buckets are the ones as I said earlier was doing with the fertilizer trials. You can see that one on the right there has got uh, fast grow fertilizer in so that means this one there must be the 6x manure. I think that should be the first one that we unveil. Swift potatoes with a 6x manure. Let's just go and put them on the scales. The scales have been zeroed, just put it on. And I don't know if you can see that, that's £2.8.15 ounces. And that there is the swift potatoes with 6x manure. Thank you. 
of the fast grow fertilizer supplied by Shane. So, uh, what do you reckon against the 6x? Place your bets because we're going to weigh these. Scales have been zeroed with the empty tray. It's time for the results. I'm looking down. And that is quite a disappointing £1.12.7 ounce. It's just under £2. So on this occasion the 6x manure has produced half a pound more potatoes. Two buckets of the potato spoils. I've replenished the soil with a bit of blood fish and bone and also some 6x manure and into those I'll be planting these two uh, purple sprouting broccoli. I've dug the bed over now and uh, in those buckets there, the old potato buckets, the two purple sprouting broccoli. They've been sunken into the ground just a little bit. Obviously the roots will hopefully go out into the soil once they reach there. And I've started putting the barrier netting round with uh, six line pins. It just so happens I've got six sunflowers left that I originally started for the sunflower challenge and I'm going to put one against each supporting post. Well, we're just coming to close the play. Well, it is on the allotment anyway. What's been probably the hottest day of the year so far. Respect goes out to all those people over on the west coast of America who managed to grow in temperatures much warmer than this. But uh, lunchtime it is too warm. I have to take a few hours break. I'll just show you what I've been up to. A quick peek into the greenhouse, and we're just about done here now. There's uh, one, two, uh, nine tomatoes, five along this edge, and four along here. Those are uh, on the left is Gardener's Delight, Alsa Craig, Shirley, then Rama bringing up the end. I've got four cucumbers in the bottom market more, can't remember if that was in one of the clips previous. And uh, we managed to get uh, 13 peppers. There's five along each side and three along the bottom. Just a quick look at the thermometer now. It's currently 7.15 in the evening and it is uh, 29.6 in the greenhouse. But as you can see, the maximum temperature day, 46.9, which uh, in uh, Fahrenheit here, guys, across the pond, it's 116.4. And it's currently 85.3. Another job I managed to complete before the weather got the best of me. I saw earlier I got the uh, purple sprouting broccoli in there, but around the protective barrier netting, I've also put in six uh, more sunflower of the Titan variety. So they're a lot smaller than the ones which went out earlier, but uh, hopefully they'll catch up. Just before I finish today's filming, I'd like to share with you these beautiful flowers. The dahlia called Arabian Night, and they're from Wilco.